It is the latest push to promote its diversity efforts. Procter & Gamble is shining a light on the struggles of black men in a provocative film titled The Look. It tackles the unconscious biases that black men face in their everyday lives. Procter & Gamble's new diversity ad opens up with a black man lying in bed, puzzled about life. It then follows his daily routine of walking his son to school. When his son waves at a little girl in the backseat of a car, her mother, seemingly bothered, rolls up her window. The father heads to work and is clearly ignored while walking to the elevator with a deep stare. In this scene, he's looked at and discussed while teaching his son how to float in a pool. It's really a bold step for a major corporation to take on an issue like this. We spoke with Jewett L. Walker, Jr., president and chairman of the board of the 100 Black Men of Los Angeles, outside his home in Culver City. Everyone needs to be aware of the implicit biases that exist in our society. And I think that this goes a long way to waking people up to what implicit bias is. Walker has mentored young African-American men for decades and now leads the organization's local chapter who is working to educate boys and men about the biases. So we wanted to get his take on the provocative ad. It happens all the time and more often than we care to admit. One of the things that we do with our programming is let our young people understand that these are the things that await you outside of the community that you were raised in. And you need to be aware of the consequences of not responding properly when people show you that kind of bias. The spot, however, does have some surprising and promising twists. Perhaps the most powerful scene is when all rise inside a courtroom. The assumption that the black man is a defendant entering the room is just that. It turns out he's the judge. Until they put on that suit or they put on that robe or they put on that doctor schmuck, when they get ready to go out to their job, you're not aware of who they are or what they do. And it's unfortunate. And you know, that was a moment for me. I was like, please don't let him be the defendant. And then yeah. you have that surprising twist at the end. It's so important to have this conversation. Uh, Procter & Gamble, they actually uh, sent me a statement and it says the first step to addressing any problem is having an honest talk about it, whether or not you've experienced it yourself or you have no clue about the culture and what black men face every day. It's still something that we should be talking about just to make sure that everybody feels comfortable and feels welcome. And we want you to join the conversation about unconscious biases. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at CBSLA. Look for our post or just use the hashtag CBSLA on your own post.